Our journey continues. We are wrapping up the first week today. This is the seventh day of our 21-day journey. I want you to look there in the prescribed reading at chapter 7 of the Gospel of John. And I'm going to read to you just three verses of Scripture here, point them out. The entire chapter is going to challenge you, but uh, these three verses especially I want to look at today. In, in uh, verse 37, the Scripture says, On the last day, the great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried out, saying, If anyone thirst, let him come to me and drink. He who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. But this he spoke concerning the Spirit, whom those believing in him would receive. For the Holy Spirit was not yet given, because Jesus was not yet glorified. This little passage of scripture, only three verses, but it requires us to do a little bit of uh, uh, dividing the word of truth. We want to understand what it is that John is referring to in this uh, short passage. And so Jesus was revealing himself in Jerusalem. This was one of the great feasts. Three times a year, the Jews were ordered that all the men should present themselves at the temple at the presence of, uh, in the presence of the Lord. And so this was one of those feasts. Jesus spoke out in the crowd. People were looking for Jesus in Jerusalem. But he, at this point, speaks out in the crowd, if anyone is thirsty, if anyone's thirsty, let him come to me and drink. For he who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. Now, a lot of people read this passage of scripture and suppose that it's referring to salvation. Uh, there is another place where Jesus talks about the uh, salvation being a well inside you springing out. But this is not referring to a well. This is referring to a river. And verse 39, John clarifies. He says, this he spoke concerning the spirit whom those believing in him would receive. So J John, as you may recall, the Baptist, came preaching that Jesus would follow him, that would be one that came after him greater than he was. He said, I'm baptizing you with water, but when he comes, he will baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. And Jesus was speaking about the fulfillment of that promise people receiving the Spirit. And he's saying to us in this passage of Scripture today, if anyone is thirsty for the Spirit, let him come to me and drink. Someone has said, well, if Jesus wants me to have the Holy Spirit, I'm willing. Well, he didn't say I will give this to people that are willing. He said I'll give this to people that are thirsty. If we want the Spirit inside us, uh, if we hope to have the Spirit inside us, it begins with enough desire in us to have us coming to Jesus and asking him, I'm thirsty, would you give me a drink? Would you let that river flow out of my innermost being? Would you let that river come out of my heart? And he that believes, he says of me, as the scripture has said, well, a lot of people believe a lot of things about Jesus but in this scripture, Jesus points out that it's not just okay to believe whatever you want to believe about Jesus. It's important that we believe on him as the scripture has said. And as, re and as re uh, result of our believing on Jesus and coming to him thirsty, he will pour out his spirit inside our heart and rivers of living water will flow out of us. And that's what we are desiring today. We're not wanting an old experience. We don't want to talk about what used to happen, how many, how many times we've seen God move in the past. Today we're coming to the Lord because we're hungry. We are hungry for the Spirit. We are hungry for the Holy Spirit of God to come out of our innermost being, out of the depths of our heart, 
like a river. That's what we're praying for. That's what we're looking for. That's where this journey is going today. Let's pray about this. Father, I thank you for the promise that you will pour out your spirit on all flesh. We believe that these are those days when our sons and our daughters will receive the spirit and will prophesy. And Lord, we just say to you, we're hungry. Don't leave us out. Don't overlook us. Today, let that spirit come out of our innermost being and let it flow to the folk that are in need and let it be life to them. We pray for Jesus' sake. Amen and amen. God bless you. One third is behind us as of today. 21 day journey, seven days behind us. We're pressing through. God is taking us to a new place. God bless you today.